In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can delete a to-do item from your to-do list. So first thing we will need is some sort of a button so that we can click it and then delete that to-do item. So save this and now we have these buttons. Of course, I added this class of uh, button and alert. These are uh, getting their styles from Foundations Framework. Of course, now we need to add an event to that button and that is going to be click. Okay, we save this. So what I said uh, right here, when you click that button, then fire up a method called delete to do. And we are also passing this to do to that method so that we know with uh, which to do item we are dealing with so that we can delete it, of course. So I'm going to create that delete to do method right now. Of course, this function is accepting this to do right here. So we have to send it. And now we want to emit uh, that to do to our to do list and create a custom event handler, which is going to be called also delete to do. So we already did this in the past episodes. So we would just do this that emit and then delete to do and send this data. So we are creating a new custom event and we are sending it to our to-do list. We save this. And of course, nothing will happen just uh, now. If we click on this, nothing is happening because we still didn't say to view, okay, when somebody clicks this, then find this particular to-do or whatever you clicked on and delete it from our list. And then of course, after that, we will uh, going to have to delete it from our database. Okay, so now in our to do list that view, we have to fire up that delete to do uh, custom event that we created in the to do that view component. And to do that, you can of course do V on. And we are doing this on both of our uncompleted component and completed to do component. So we are doing V on, or you can use the shorthand of this. So you can do, uh, do it like this instead of writing V on. So that's shorthand equals to delete to do. And we pass it at to do that we want to delete. Okay save this now we go to our script and create a new method which is also called delete to do but this is a method that is going to be fired up on this to do list that view component okay so you might be wondering why can't we do this on the to do that view component well, this is because what we need to do is when somebody clicks that we need to record which to do was clicked. And then we want to remove that to do from our to do is array. Since we don't have access to to do is array in this component, we have to do it on our to do list component. But just to see if this even works when we click it if something actually happens let's just console log log this to do so that we can see what's going on okay we save this open up our console we got some errors okay we don't have any er errors uh, and we just click delete and when i click delete console log fires up and we get this object and we get of course which to do we actually clicked now how do we remove this to do you would think that we could use the id of a to do to remove it but we actually can't uh, because id is an id what we need is actually index of uh, that to do item which is different from the id of our to do so to do that, uh, we need to uh, somehow calculate that uh, 
index. So So we are looking at the to do's array and finding the index of this to do that we sent. Uh, so I'm just going to put this console log right here so that you can see that this index is actually different from the ID of to do. So we are having to do that ID. So this is going to be the ID of our to do, which we are getting from our API. And this is going to be the index uh, in that list of that to do. Right. So when I refresh this and click it, you will see that we get four and three. So this is the index of is three, uh, but the ID is four. If I click this one, this has the uh, ID of three and the index of is two. I may click this one. This has seven and six. As you can see, it's not uh, using uh, the ID would not be very reliable for us. Maybe it could work, but it wouldn't be reliable for us. So we have to calculate this index of. Now that we have that uh, index, we can splice the array and remove that to do from our array. Okay. Okay. So we said remove uh, the index from our list actually remove the to do with that index from our list. And now let's just see if this works. We are going to click on the last one. So this DFFD delete. And as you can see, it's gone. We can delete those two. And of course, now if I refresh this page, those to do items are still here because we just removed them from the list, but we still didn't remove them from our database. So that's what we are going to be doing right now. So to remove that to do item from uh, our database, we have to send an ID of that uh, item to October and then October will take that ID and then destroy the uh, record or that to do item from our database. As you will see, it will be very simple. We are of course going to be using Axios for that. So we can just do Axios post. So we are sending it to the route called delete to do, and we are sending the hold to do item to that route. So I'm just going to save this. We are going to go to our plugins, watch, learn to do routes. And what we can do, we can actually just copy this one for adding a to do or creating a to do, paste it in because this part is going to be the same except for the actual uh, name of the route. So it's going to be delete to do, then we get the data from it. So remember we are getting the whole uh, to do object right here. And now here, instead of to do create, we will do to do destroy. Okay. And now uh, we are requiring this input. And instead of all this, I'm just going to delete it. And we just do data. So we get the ID. And that's it. So we just get the ID from this data and this data is the whole to do object. And that should actually be it. We save it. Let's just test it out. So we are going to delete this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't like those because they look ridiculous. Delete, delete, delete. And okay, let's just even out these lists so that we don't have uh, one much longer than the other. So we have uncompleted eight and completed eight. So if we refresh this page right now, now we get uncompleted eight and completed eight. And as you can see, those to do items are not on our list anymore. This was, as you can see, actually pretty easy. 
so this is it for this video guys uh, i hope you enjoyed it remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below if you want to ask me questions you can do that on facebook twitter github youtube and so on and uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel and the content i put out you can subscribe to the channel also if you want to send some money my way you can use the patreon page for that thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next episode